from the AFL. He went back for two seasons. He's returned to the Collingwood Footy Club. He now joins us. G'day, Marty Clark. How are you? Not so bad, thanks. Great to have you on. Why did you decide to return back to Australia in the Collingwood Footy Club after two years away, Marty? Yeah, I suppose I had two great years back in Ireland, but I had a real hunger to come back and I uh, suppose for my job to get up and go to training every day, especially I had a lot of ties still at Collingwood and if the deal was able to be done I was certainly ready to come back and thankfully it's, it's worked out. I want to ask you, uh, all the Irish boys that come over can all run, we know that. What, what game do you run more in? I mean I went over and played in the uh, series back in 98 and thought that you know, they're, they're very good athletes. For guys that don't train professionally they can just run, run. What game do you run more in, AFL or, or Gaelic? Um, I think due to the sheer length of the AFL game, um, Gaelic's two uh, 35 minute halves compared to four 30 minute quarters you could say in AFL. So the sheer running, certainly AFL, but for short, sharp, intense um, running it, it's Gaelic. You know, it's just sprinting basically the whole time. Where in AFL you get more of a breather at a stoppage or once there's a goal kicked. Um, so the boys in Ireland are equally as fit. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a different type of fitness and obviously you don't have to be as big in the weights training in Ireland, so different type of athlete. So where do you rate quickly at Collingwood in, in fitness? In fitness I'd be up there near the top, um, in terms of endurance especially. Yep. Oh, I was too, mate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, when you, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't help it. Uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, do you realise how lucky you are? Because I, I reckon, I was shattered when you left, I really was shattered when you left, but I've been out of the game for two years, um, and the club gave up some pretty good draft picks for you too. So the the faith that they've shown you has been quite enormous. Yeah, absolutely. And I know how fortunate I am. And I suppose every day when the alarm goes off at, at 8 a.m. or whatever time uh, the training's on, you're, or you're a poor thing. <laughs> yeah, must be sure. Um, <laughs> I'm delighted to get up and and know how lucky I am to be back yeah. into a great organisation and. Um, you know, I, I completely understand and I just want to repay the faith in every training session I have, every game I get a chance. Marty, from what I can gather, my vast array of informants in Ireland tell me basically there's Bono and there's you in levels of superstar. I mean, the entire side of Ireland. How much footy is being shown back in Ireland now? And is the game increasing in momentum with a lot of you boys playing out here now? Yeah, it, it's certainly, there's a lot more, um, it's a lot more available now with satellite TV and stuff, but I think if the AFL promoted their game, every, people love watching it, and in Ireland, because there's a few play, people know a few people, they might know me, they might know Zach Tui, Satanta, Kennelly, someone knows someone who knows him, and before you know it, people are asking what AFL is, and it's really, uh, there's a lot of games being shown, and people love watching it, obviously it's a great sport, and very similar to our own GAA sport at home, so certainly it's a... Uh, it's a massive thing in Ireland for, for people following the few lads that are playing, but I think just to enjoy the spectacle that is AFL as well. Absolutely. All right, let's have a look at the teams. Marty is up against the Gold Coast boys. Seisman, Eugle, Young, Brown and Wood are in, and Keith is out. The fourth knee injury, and Shaw is out injured with a calf. It is an unbelievable run of, of bad luck, and they're, and with the, well, certainly with the knee injuries, but... Uh, the, the players that they keep bringing back into the side, it's very similar to West Coast, they keep plugging holes and they keep plugging in with quality and that probably comes from the fact that a lot of these guys across their list have played senior footy, but I think they've played something like 35 uh, players this year, which is right up there with Gold Coast and Greater Western Sydney. Yeah, Russ, yeah. Russell Hall, Hickey and McKenzie are in and Smith is out for the Gold Coast. Yeah, look, they're going to be up against the Gold Coast, they're coming up against a very professional side, but you know, look, they, they, they need a win, the Gold Coast, we, we, they had three wins last year, they haven't had a win yet. I'd I expect them to be uh, to have a real goal and be really competitive, but against the uh, professionalism of uh, Collingwood, I think they uh, they may struggle. And you're right, uh, Scotty. I, actually, if Collingwood and West Coast both had all their players fit, they would be streets above anyone else. Talking about injury, obviously Luke Ball's moved out of the side and out of the midfield. Ducky is out with a knee. Beams and side bottom have stood up under, uh, remarkably well. Those two young men are playing fantastic footy for your footy mm. club. Yeah, it's great to, to be able to play with players like um, Beamsy and Sadie. Um, I've, uh, from when, when I left last, they were just young kids come into the club and the improvement in them is unbelievable. They're just so high quality ball users. They can win their own ball. They're just brilliant players and if you're in space they'll see you they, they don't just kick the ball forward aimlessly they're brilliant skilled players and they've improved beyond belief Marty we really appreciate your time we're stoked to have you back uh, playing wonderful footy for the Collingwood Footy Club mm. thanks a lot boys great to have Marty on the show